Hello everyone and welcome to The Mason Mind, a channel to discover the unknown. Most of us know very little about this person because our textbooks rarely mention him. Basically, they never talk about him. When we were kids, we barely knew who he was. Most of the stories we learned in school were about Thomas Edison. Today in this video, we'll share with you a genius of the 19th century who not only invented alternating current, but also wireless technology, remote control technology, medical x-rays, renewable energy, and much more, all of which are closely related to his contributions. This person is a Serbian-American inventor named Nikola Tesla. Most of us might be familiar with the name Tesla. In recent years, the business magnate Elon Musk and his Tesla electric car can be said to be known by everyone. Tesla Motors was founded in July 2003, and the company's name is actually a tribute to the great inventor, Nikola Tesla. On July 10th, 1856, Tesla was born in the village of Smiljan in Croatia to a Serbian family. Tesla's parents were both Serbian. His father, Milutin Tesla, was an Eastern Orthodox priest, and his mother, Duka Mandic, was the daughter of another priest. As per the family legend, during Tesla's birth, the midwife expressed concern upon witnessing lightning storm and proclaimed it to be a bad omen, indicating that the child would be a child of darkness. Tesla's mother immediately corrected her and said that he will be a child of light. Tesla was the fourth child in the family. He had an older brother and three sisters. In 1863, Tesla's brother, Dane, died in a horse riding accident. This loss of a loved one left the seven-year-old Tesla feeling uneasy. He claimed that he saw visions, which was actually the first sign of his lifelong mental illness. At the time, he told adults that he could see visions. Whenever he had an idea or a unique invention, he could clearly visualize the object's image and outline in his mind, and it would appear as light. His visual hallucinations helped him greatly with his learning, research, and inventions. While most people would still need to physically create something in reality for trial and error, Tesla did not require this. If Tesla wanted to create something, he could simply imagine it in his mind, and he able to visualize every detail. His exceptional ability allowed him to use mental imagery for his experiments and inventions. In 1882, the 26-year-old Tesla out of admiration for Edison, he joined as a junior engineer at the Continental Edison Company in Paris, an American company branch established to expand Edison's DC generators and lighting systems. In addition, he made improvements to Edison's dynamo generator, which included an automatic regulator. Eventually, Tesla's work caught the attention of Charles Batchelor, the head of Edison's operations in France, who extended an invitation to Tesla to work for Edison in the United States. In 1884, the 28-year-old Tesla went to work at Edison's headquarters in the United States. Edison also valued Tesla and asked him to assist in the invention of the direct current motor. However, Tesla had already started studying alternating current and knew that AC was the future mainstream. When he shared this view with Edison, Edison refused to accept Tesla's advice and insisted that Tesla continue to work on the DC motor. Perhaps due to their personalities, their relationship was not very harmonious. At the time, Edison made a bet that if Tesla could improve the DC power plant that he favored, Edison would reward him with $50,000. But a few months later, when Tesla completed the task, Edison reneged on his promise and jokingly told Tesla, You really thought I was serious? You really don't understand American humor. Perhaps feeling that he had been tricked, Tesla got into a dispute with Edison. After that, there are two versions of this history. One is that Tesla resigned on his own, and the other is that Edison actually fired him. After leaving Edison's company, Tesla founded his own company in 1884 called Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing Company and registered patents for AC electricity. At first, things were difficult as he gave speeches everywhere, but no one believed in his AC electricity. Later in 1888, a man named George Westinghouse a famous American entrepreneur and inventor noticed Tesla and offered him $60,000, roughly $1.4 million in today's dollars, for his patents and a royalty of $2.50 per AC horsepower produced by each motor. Following Tesla's improved financial situation, he aimed to increase awareness of alternating current. 
To achieve this, he conducted various public demonstrations, such as lighting a disconnected vacuum bulb with 1,500 candle power by using high-frequency currents of AC electricity. The purpose of this demonstration was to educate and showcase the safety and potential of AC electricity. Later, Tesla also invented the Tesla coil, which is an electrical transformer circuit that operates on the principle of resonance primarily used to produce high voltage but low current AC electricity. Because it can produce a brilliant electric arc effect when in operation, when he demonstrated his Tesla coil to the world, the audience were really amazed. In 1888, New York State passed the legislature allowing the use of the electric chair as a means of execution. Harold Pitney Brown, an electrical engineer salesman, was commissioned by the state to build an electric chair. Today, if we check on the internet, there's information about Thomas Edison provided secret funding for Brown's project to ensure that the electric chair would use alternating currents, thereby demonstrating the dangers of AC power. Alfred Porter Southwick is commonly known for electric chair invention, but it is believed that Edison was also involved. You may take a look at their letter in 1887. The first person to be executed by electric chair was William Kemmler in 1890, marking a historic event in capital punishment. The War of Currents reached its peak at the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, also known as the World Columbian Exposition, commemorating the 400th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's arrival in the Americas. Inventors were invited to submit bids for the use of electric lighting at the fair, Edison's company submitted a bid for the use of direct current at a cost of $554,000. However, Westinghouse won the contract with his bid of $399,000, which used Tesla's alternating current patent. When the fair used Tesla's alternating current and fluorescent lighting in 1893, it was a spectacular sight that amazed the world. Most importantly, Tesla's victory in the war of currents over Edison had a profound impact. Many people began to admire him, and all the newspapers in America wrote articles saying that he was like a magician of electricity. Tesla received various reputations. His electric light company immediately became popular, and he did not forget Westinghouse because of his investment. Tesla was thankful to him, and their partnerships continued. In addition, in 1895, Tesla and Westinghouse built the first large-scale hydroelectric power plant which not only sparked the development of Niagara Falls as an industrial center, but also initiated the electrification of the world. Today, there are actually Tesla statues on both the American and Canadian sides of Niagara Falls, honoring Tesla's contributions to the development of hydroelectric power generation using the energy of the falls. When Westinghouse and Tesla's alternating current became more and more popular, Edison's DC electric company did not do well, and Edison was not happy. Edison did something even more extreme. In 1903, he arranged for a circus elephant named Topsy to be electrocuted using AC electricity at Luna Park on Coney Island in New York, and the event was filmed to show the dangers of alternating current. After Tesla became increasingly successful, another prominent figure, the American financier and investment banker John Pierpont Morgan, noticed him. Morgan had the foresight to believe that the future would be all about wireless technology, so he approached Tesla and asked him to research wireless communication towers. He invested and gave Tesla $150,000. Tesla then bought a land and built a tower called the Wardenclyffe Tower, which stood 57 meters tall with a cupola on top measuring 21 meters in diameter. However, while Tesla was still conducting his research, Guglielmo Marconi, an Italian scientist, announced to the world that he was able to send a wireless transmission across the Atlantic. Marconi patented his wireless telegraphy system in 1900. On December 12, 1901, Marconi successfully sent the first radio transmission across the Atlantic. In 1901, there was a first stock market crash on the New York Stock Exchange called the Panic of 1901, which caused prices for the tower's materials to soar. Tesla wrote many letters to Morgan for additional funding, but Morgan declined and stopped his involvement in the World Wireless System project due to this risky moment for any investment. Due to Marconi's success with wireless transmission technology, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1909. Later, Tesla filed a lawsuit against Marconi, claiming that Marconi actually used his own technology. 
In fact, Tesla filed for his first patent related to radio technology in the United States in 1897, and he even exhibited a radio-controlled boat at Madison Square Garden in 1898. However, in an unusual move, the U.S. Patent Office reversed its decision in 1904 and granted Marconi the patent for the invention of radio. It is widely believed that the U.S. Patent Office succumbed to Marconi's influence due to his and his family's connections with the wealthy and powerful. Later in his life, Tesla lived in a hotel called the New Yorker Hotel in Manhattan, New York, where he died on January 7, 1943. It is said that there was no one around him when he passed away. After his death, U.S. government agents quickly entered Tesla's hotel room and confiscated many of his research and work-related documents. Many people believed they were searching for Tesla's death beam, which was claimed could shoot down planes from 250 miles away, that could completely change the nature of warfare, as well as any other inventions they could find. Also, after Tesla died in 1943, the U.S. Supreme Court invalidated Marconi's important patents, which acknowledged Tesla's radio innovations, along with those of two other scientists, Oliver Lodge and John Stone, albeit belatedly. Even Tesla made significant contributions to science and technology through his inventions such as alternating current, which revolutionized the electrical appliance industry and remains in wide use today. He was never awarded the Nobel Prize. In 1915, it was announced in press that he would share the prize with his rival Edison, but it was rumored that Tesla refused to share the prize, and ultimately neither of them received it. Although Tesla has passed away, his inventions, which have improved our daily lives, and his research have left a lasting and profound impact. Nikola Tesla is undoubtedly one of the prolific inventors in history, and as a legend, his legacy will endure indefinitely, since heroes are remembered, but legends never die. His inventions, research, and legacy will continue to inspire and influence scientists, inventors, and engineers today. That's all for today, sharing. Please hit the like button and share if you like this video. Feel free to leave a comment below. If you like our channel, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you in the next episode. Let's discover the unknown together.